Hey guys, it's Lena and today I will be reviewing an IPL uh, hair removal um, machine and um, I decided to make this video although uh, there are tons of videos about uh, some kind of this IPL uh, machines. I um, I think that it's worth mentioning uh, my personal experience, and also uh, the price was <laughs> was a big uh, um, pro uh, in doing this particular video because I've uh, came across uh, lots of different uh, brands like Hensley, Lux Skin, Rose Skin. And um, no doubt, uh, well, I, I cannot um, say they are good or bad, but uh, the prices I heard, like for example, Kenzie, um, uh, costs something like around $250, uh, and it's very pricey, I think, uh, although it's uh, cheaper than going to a salon treatment and or in this case to multiple salon treatments and um, for example this device uh, cost me only around 25 uh, dollars 25 american dollars and so i just quickly want to mention how it works what it does and if you are interested to learn more about these kind of devices. I do recommend watching, well, as ma as many videos as you can find on YouTube, as many reviews. I do recommend um, getting familiar with the technology behind this uh, treatment. And um, I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a medical professional, so I cannot recommend you to use it. So. Um, I'm talking just about my personal experience. So, this uh, <laughs> this very small device, as I already mentioned, it, the price is only $25. And uh, I uh, ordered it from AliExpress. And as you can see, it doesn't have any brand name. So, uh, I saw lots of... Um, same looking devices so like Hansi for example with uh, much higher prices and uh, I think uh, the technology the inside it's it's all the same so the difference is uh, only the brand name and um, I also learned that uh, many of um, American girls for example tried Kenzi and at the same time they tried um, cheaper knockoffs and they discovered that there was there wasn't any difference or in many cases uh, in fact uh, cheaper devices uh, were more effective or caused less damage to the skin so um, this is why I decided to create this video. So uh, the principle of this device is uh, relatively simple. At least I, I try to I'm trying to explain it simply. So uh, here you can see a lamp, and this lamp produces uh, a very high intensity pulse light. Um, it's a special spectrum light, and it influences melatonin in your skin as well as in your hair so for example when you um uh, when your skin gets brown brown sun tanned it's because of the melatonin in your skin the same thing is about your hair for example i have very dark hair so i have a lot of melat melatonin i think it's called like that please do correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> So, and um, so um, this this particular device, it affects uh, this um, chemical in your skin, melatonin, as well as in your hair. So, it's very important uh, mentioning that if your skin is very very dark, it it's not recommended to use this uh, IPL technology. So, or if you have 
uh, a pale skin and your hair is very pale for example this like cheek uh, fluffiness it also it will not work because again it uh, it doesn't have melatonin so for me because I'm very pale I have very fair skin and my hair is very dark it's an ideal um, treatment so this is why I decided to try it and it works very very easily it plugs um, into the wall so it's it's not in any case like uh, you don't have to charge it and that I also like because um, I don't need to charge it uh, each time I finished or in the middle of the session it's very easy and it's also very very light I think it's something like maybe 200 grams or even less and the producer of this device also recommends wearing uh, this some kind of protective glasses. They look like sunglasses. They are made of <laughs> just plastic. And maybe you can use your own sunglasses. Uh, I'm not sure. And some, uh, some manufacturers also suggest not using any glasses, just look away from the flash because it's, hairy, it's a very intensive flash and um, of course it can, can cause some damage to your eyes. So be careful, please. And so what you do, uh, you just plug it in, you choose uh, the level of intensity, of life, it, uh, light intensity, so there are five levels. For example, it is recommended to start from the smaller uh, intensity and uh, maybe move to the higher ones. Uh, for my legs, I use level five and for my arms, I use level three because I'm not that sure. And it's important to talk about sensations because sometimes it can get a little bit hot. But it's not like a burning sensation. So you can smell something burning. But it's not overwhelming. You don't you don't smell your skin burned. So it's it's very important that you check it uh, before you use it on larger areas. You should check it on the more most sensitive areas, like the um, for example this part of your elbow or uh, down your knee. So this is the most sensitive part, and I only checked it so far on my. Um, face <laughs> on my stash area uh, on my legs and on my arms so and on my bikini area so i haven't checked it so far on my armpit area because it's the less um maintenance area in my body i think so it's not that important it's very easy to maintain if it has hair or not so and um yeah you just plug it in you choose your level and there's also an automatic mode so you can either press the button and each time you press the button the flash appears so you press it uh to your skin and the flash appears and it's very important that it has some safety sensors so without um so it has a skin sensor i think so if you are not pressing it to the skin and you just flush it ra randomly it won't work so this is very important i think and in an automated mode you just uh, you don't have to press it again and again it can be tiresome if you are um treating large areas of your body so you just glide it so it's also called sometimes it's called a glide mode so you just uh, flash then move flash move so and you will see the flash so you will see like this from the sides you will see some flash but it's not a stronger one and i don't think that it's very damaging to your eyes for example but anyways i always use these glasses and so far i've been using it for maybe a little bit a little bit like three weeks or so i haven't noticed any dramatic reduce in hair growth although i noticed that for example 
on my arms i have maybe like <laughs> i had at least maybe some five uh hairs <laughs> individual hairs that were much darker than the other ones and um, they went um, out first so i noticed that after treatment they became curly they looked a little bit like they were treated with some some heat and uh, I, now I am trying to see them and in fact I don't see them. So what happens, like for example, if you go to photo uh, appellation to, to the salon, what happens? They treat your skin with hair and after some time, uh, maybe some days, the hair starts to fall all because the uh, follicles, uh, the follicles, they uh, got damaged. So the same principle is here, but it's less, it's less invasive. So it's, it doesn't burn all of your hair, and it also has more surface area, I think. So and um, I can be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, and what I can tell you guys about this particular device. So I think it's working. Of course, it it uh, won't work as fast as, for example, laser treatment or photoappellation in a salon uh, because it's less invasive. It's uh, less painful actually as well because only what I sensed. Um, at first, well, during my first session, I sensed quite a bit of heat. So it was because it was my first session, I thought it a bit um, alarming, al alarming or something. And I asked the, the manufacturer and it said, uh, he said, uh, well, the manufacturer, the people from the factory, they said it was totally fine. So if you feel a uh, a lot of discomfort you should um, maybe choose um, you should level down and uh, this that was maybe level four or level five so and now I don't feel any uh, I feel of course I feel that it's warm sometimes I feel that it's it's hot but it's not boiling hot it's not burning hot and sometimes I can also um, sense the smell of burning hair but not burning skin it's very important so um i do recommend you to check it out if and uh i will link uh, i will <laughs> i will leave the link down below of this particular device but it's not sponsored in any way so you can you are free to choose the best offer possible and uh, for me this was um a great discovery of recent months so i hope i uh, helped you a bit with my video and if you enjoyed this one consider uh, liking it and maybe subscribing to my channel thank you for watching bye bye